We begin with continuing coverage of that viral video showing a Mobile police officer beating a man in handcuffs. WKRG News 5's Asher Red joins us now. Asher pulled the uh, police department handbook. And Asher, some leaders say based on that criteria and what they've seen, they think the officer's actions were justified. Yeah, Pete, no rule in this handbook here says that officers cannot use their fists in self-defense. In fact, it's called the hard hands technique, and it's considered a less than lethal weapon. I mean, what's the use of the handcuffs if you're still going to get beat or tased or killed? While many people like Mario Yao say the officer displayed an excessive use of force, City Chief of Staff James Barber says that if you look closely in the video, you can see the suspect, Beezer DeBose Jr.'s much more subtle attack. The suspect then grabbed the officer by the testicles, and that's when they went to the ground and continued to assault the officer. If he did, that probably is a reaction to trying to get you off of me because I'm, I'm already, you know what I'm saying, helpless, and you just beat me in my face, nobody's stopping you. So you know what I'm saying, you know, first law of nature, self-preservation. A complaint filed on Monday by the officer backs up Barber's statements. There is physical evidence of that assault. However, Barber says one thing is missing from this video. Closer! Closer! Context. The video is a little bit deceiving because it actually takes place kind of in the middle of the confrontation. District 2 Councilman William Carroll addresses the elephant in the room. We wear body cams to not just protect the police officer, but to protect, to protect the person that's been arrested. Body camera footage has not been released yet due to the ongoing investigation. While Mobile NAACP President Robert Clopton says he hopes to see body camera footage soon, he says this video speaks for itself. Here we have a video of an incident and a situation which somewhat validates what's been keeping uh, from us. But people like Sabrina Mass say the release of body camera footage would clear up a lot of community concerns. I would be silly to say I'm on the side of the, 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 the victim per se or the police because I haven't seen the entire video to make um, that point of view on what is right and what is wrong. The officer involved, Paul Caligari Jr., has been placed on administrative leave and he has been to see a urologist to determine what types of injuries he may have. Live in the studio this evening, I'm Asher Red, WKRG News 5.